Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to our midweek devotional. We really hope this inspires you. Let's have a listen. So uh, we're going to be reading this morning from Luke, and uh, this is what it says in Luke 5. One day as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret with the people crowding around him and listening to the word of God, he saw at the water's edge two boats and there, left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boats. When he'd finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they'd done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boats to come and help them, and they came and filled both boats so full they began to sink. A phrase that we've heard a lot over the last few weeks is unprecedented. We're living in unprecedented times, and what does that actually mean? Well, it means that we've never done this before. It's never been known before. But you know, Jesus's life was unprecedented. Everywhere he went, every conversation he had, everything he did was unprecedented. He brought peace, he brought hope, he brought life, he performed miracles in every situation that he found himself in. And people were changed as a result of meeting with him. You know, everyone he met went away different. And that's amazing, you know, that's incredible because Jesus was unprecedented, his life was unprecedented. And uh, we're reading that story that Simon had been doing the ordinary. He'd been doing what he was used to doing. He'd been fishing, he'd not caught anything. And it says in verse five, when Jesus had already told him, you know, put out into the, the deep water, Simon answers this, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. You know, he was willing and he was obedient to do what Jesus said, even though it didn't make sense, even though in the natural they'd done everything they could do, because you say so, I'll do it. And the result of that obedience was that the nets were full to breaking. There was an overload, there were so many fish that they had to get their friends to come and help them. You know, we're living in times that can seem really tough and can seem really constrained and can seem really hard. But I want to encourage us to have a willingness and an obedience to Jesus that says, because you say so, doesn't make sense to me, but because you say so, I'll do it. I'll have that conversation, or I'll pray for that person, or I'll give that money even though I don't have any. Whatever it is, God, I'll do it because I'm willing and I'm obedient to you. And I want to encourage us to live unprecedented lives in this season because we serve a God who is faithful. We serve a God who isn't shaken, who isn't wobbling, who isn't crumbling under the current time that we're in. He's the same God, he's constant, he's faithful, he's true, and you can trust him. So I encourage you in this season to be ready to step out, to be ready to obey, to be ready to do what God calls us to do. And let's have testimony at the end of this journey that says, this is what God did. You know, we were in unprecedented times, but look at what my God did, because he's a God of the impossible. These miracles happened, these lives were transformed. This situation turned around like it could never have done before. And let's encourage one another with the testimonies of what God is doing in this incredible time we're in. Thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day.